So today we're picking some mushrooms. These are meadow mushrooms, as far as we understand. My dad said they used to pick them and eat them all the time growing up. You can see they kind of have like a pink gill. They smell really good. Here's a bunch in the bag if you want to see a larger variety. We've been busting off the bottoms on some of them because they're dirty, but some people don't do that. Apparently these are a really choice mushroom and they're closely related to like the button mushrooms that people commonly eat in the store. Whenever we're picking mushrooms out of the grass, I'm like kind of afraid because there's a lot of really poisonous mushrooms that grow out of the grass that are white. So like these mushrooms right here, when I'm coming up to them, I like imagine them being poisonous. So what you need to make sure of is that they have a pink gill like that. And that's not a guarantee. If you eat any wild mushroom, there's a chance you might die. Okay, so... Is the brown one different? Nope, still the same. Yep, so as they mature, that's the biggest one. they get a more brown color. Quick, That'll that slowly fade pink. from pink to brown. They're quite pretty. Um, all their poisonous, oh all their poisonous lookalikes have white gills. So this is like yeah, a, they're all pink this gills. is a, so oh, this is a positively gills, identified white. mushroom. How do you know that we're not all gonna die? Yeah. When you eat, those you eat them, then and then if you don't all get sick and die, then you're fine. Huh? Elena. Elena. Dad said so Grandpa scared. Paul said Elena. these were morels. <laughs> all of growing ben, up, ben, so they would eat them. But obviously, they're not morels. Are you gonna check? They're they are called meadow mushrooms. Sorry, I can't. And he already okay, got Elena. 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 Yep, you can read about them. Elena. They're definitely Elena. meadow mushrooms. Yeah. We're just like trusting my dad. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, when we is. got here, Urban. wow, that's really big, yeah. yeah. It seems like it is starting to deliquous. I like that word a lot. Yeah. So I'm afraid of the ones that are closed like this because there's poisonous lookalikes, like the destroying angels and the death caps. It's scary. But if you pop it open and the gills are pink, which these ones are lightly pink, then it's probably okay. But we have enough big ones that I would rather just take the ones that I'm. Absolutely 100% certain are metal mushrooms. So that I don't end up being dead. We're actually here for my grandpa's funeral. <laughs> Which hopefully, that would be terrible if everyone died from eating mushrooms that they picked at a funeral. Like we're in the graveyard. You think that death caps grow in graveyards? I don't know. This bag's getting pretty heavy though. And there's so many out here, we're literally just walking past them. But yeah, oh, sorry. these are Beautiful metal oh, mushrooms. See this one later? Please demonstrate for me how you pick these. Mushroom? Right about ground level. Straight across. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Do it again. Do it again. Or you can just go like this. Oh, disgusting. Oh, disgusting. But if you have fingernails as long as Johan. Hey, that's actually not that Pull one. it out and you have all this dirt. And you don't want that. Yep. Looking pretty good though. Take a close up. You go ahead. Show me the gills. What color are they? Pink. Okay, and then it has this little remnant from the top. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that one's good. So go ahead and pinch the dirt off. You just kind of break off that little part. Perfect. Okay, now go ahead and pick another one. And that's, that's how you pick them. So you just got to make sure they have the pink gills. Mm -hmm. If they're white like this, um, you don't want to take them unless you for sure see that they've got pink gills, which we can just open that up like this. Yep, pink gills, so we're okay. Look how good it matches the table. What is the wow. It's like the same exact shade. So, Britta and Charisma are cutting, what are you guys doing? You're cutting the... We need mushrooms that we found in the graveyard. Yep, so these, these mushrooms... she just fed mushrooms. That is, that is healthy. Oh, no. <clears throat> so, the formaldehyde is a good fertilizer. Yeah, and formaldehyde normally is poisonous, but the mushrooms synthesize it into vitamins. So, that's why we're going to eat these. Yep, exactly. But you guys are actually just like cutting off the dirty spots. And yeah, and picking off some of the grass. We have blood work coming back. They smell amazing. If you like mushrooms. Do you like mushrooms, Britta? Uh, to be honest, I don't really care for them. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I dropped my top. Oh, 
Is it getting away? Got it. I saved some of it. <laughs> back, Good. back to normal. I'll save some. Oh, drone. I thought there was incoming. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you were about to say something before that happened. I totally forgot now. Okay. Except you guys, wait, so you guys used to pick these, right? Do you remember yeah. picking these growing up? Oh yeah, we picked them down here in the pasture. And today these were picked at, oh, there's a beauty. Yeah, Picked that is. at the cemetery. And look at the beauty. And Grandpa, Grandpa called them morels, right? But they weren't morels. They weren't morels. No, morels are the ones that look kind of like... Yeah, they look like a pine tree. Or like a cone and then they got a lot of holes in them. Yep, oh, exactly. Some of these are just amazing. Look at the meat on that. Yeah, that is succulent. We're gonna need very bucket. nice looking. This one's a little ripe. <laughs> Hopefully they're not poisonous. Uh, they're no, not. Poisonous. They're not. They're not. Poisonous. Yeah. It's a grass. But leave it to your dad to um, capitalize on some opportunities. God yeah, is God's good provision. Rachel says. They're loaded with vitamin D, and a few uh, people that have had this thing called this yeah, flu called vid, they um, they have lowered um, doses of vitamin C in, or D in them. So they're a good recommendation is to get a half hour of sunshine a day, or take a vitamin D supplement. Which I try to do both, like right now. Sunshine. And if you're gonna be in the sun for half hour, you should wear at least 30 SPF sun. So you don't get <laughs> oh, that's another good word. Well, <laughs> sunblock. Yep. So, but you still get the vitamin D, right? Yeah, you're still getting it. The sunblock just helps protect your skin from the sun. That rays. matters. Yeah, you don't want to get all. So, and the other thing is, if you're trying to sit inside, if they tell you to stay, you know, locked down, stay indoors, and get the sunshine through the glass, the glass prevents the vitamin D from coming through. So you need to be actually outdoors. Yep. Yeah, because the windows filter the light. Yeah. They reflect that spectrum that you need, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Those look good. This is like catching a bunch of fish. Except for the cleaning isn't quite as gross. Uh, bloody. Yeah. A little dirty though. Got a few chunk of dirt there. Yep. I know the average person eats so much dirt a year, but... Not us, we eat on average more. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a mushroom lover, you eat more dirt. 